Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari Sunnah of Fulfilling the Rights of Neighbors Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder Network. I would like to begin by sharing with you all a famous Arabic proverb. Is'al anil jari qabl ad-dar. Choose or find out about your neighbor before buying a residence or before finalizing on a residence, which means that it is according to the value and merit of a neighbor that the price of a residence should be estimated. For a good neighbor is a source of happiness, alhamdulillah. And a good neighbor is a building block towards building a very happy, positive and productive society. Islam considers the rights of the neighbors to be of utmost importance, as is evident in the hadith of Aisha radiallahu anha, the beloved wife of our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who is reported to have said along the lines of these words, that I heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying that Jibreel alayhi salatu wa sallam kept on urging me in regard to the good treatment of one's neighbors until I thought that I would have to treat them like my own heirs, like my own inheritors. In another narration which has been recorded in Bukhari and Muslim, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, By Allah, he is not a believer. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, took an oath. By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. Thrice. Thrice. And then the Sahaba, the companions who were with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at that moment, they asked him, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, who is that individual? And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam clarified, he is the individual whose neighbor is not safe from his evil. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us all. So from all of these narrations, we gather that being good to one's neighbor is a great responsibility that weighs down upon all of our shoulders as well as a great sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us all to revive this amazing sunnah as well as to help us to fulfill the great responsibility. In other words, to fulfill the rights of our neighbors. Ameen. Now, let us look at a small checklist in terms of being a good neighbor. So number one on the checklist is to be kind, considerate and good towards your neighbors. Because the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is reported to have said and the narration is recorded in Muslim. He who believes in Allah and the last day, i.e. the day of judgment, let him be kind to his neighbors. And in another narration, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is reported to have said and this particular narration is recorded in Bukhari and Muslim. No one should prohibit or prevent his neighbor from placing a peg on his wall. So a few ways of being kind and considerate is by perhaps visiting your neighbors once in a while, checking on them and also making sure that they are in good health and say if they have fallen ill, you can make a nice warm chicken soup and perhaps go visit them. Say if they are admitted at the hospital, you can go pay a visit whilst they are in the hospital. And also it is upon us to let them know that we are there for them and we should also try our level best to make sure that we are there when they really need us. Next in line is to be a helpful neighbor. Say if you meet a new neighbor who is moving into your neighborhood, greet them and help them with moving their things if possible. Arrange for some refreshments and welcome them warmly into your neighborhood. Say if you're on your way to the grocery store or the masjid and you see your neighbor walking, offer them a ride to help them out. But now, please don't be naive enough to think that you see the pretty girl next door on her way to college and you want to offer her a ride because now you watch the sheikh on the video advising you to offer your neighbors a ride. Now that is completely haram. But on the other hand, if you see her father walking towards the masjid, yes, by all means, offer him a ride, thereby scoring some brownie points too, and then you can ask for her hand in marriage from him. 
I hope you got my drift and I was just kidding in regard to that. And you can also help out your neighbors by perhaps offering a ride to school for their children. That is if your children go to the same school or else even carpooling which is a much more economical option can be considered. The final action item that I would like to share with you all today is to gift your neighbors once in a while. Because our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is reported to have said, Gift one another and you will love one another. Allahu Akbar. And in another narration, he وسلم, is reported to have said along the lines of these words, that whenever you prepare broth, increase the liquid in it and give out a share from it to your neighbors. Allahu Akbar. I finally leave you all with an amazing, beautiful narration where our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is reported to have said, that the best companion in the sight of Allah is the one who is the best towards his own companions. And the best neighbor in the sight of Allah is the one who is the best towards his own neighbors. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let us all strive to become the best of neighbors in accordance to the teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire an amazing Sunnah revival. Wa akhir da'waya and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Jazakumullah khair. Support the da'wah. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.